When I actually did my research and as I was writing the book, one of the things that was an aha moment for me when I was writing and talking with people, I talked to organizations all over the world um, about, you know, how do they create better work environments? How do they create, you know, the spaces where people are excited to go to work and they, and they're, resi- you know, they're recession proof and now resignation proof. Like, what does that mean? And what I was told over and over again, and and it was very consistent, is that DEI, true diversity, equity, and inclusion, is where everyone, every single person in the organization, regardless of whatever level that they're at within that organization, feels valued, respected for the unique skills, talents, abilities they bring to the organization. Let me say that again. Real DEI work is where everyone feels valued, respected for the unique skills, talents, and abilities they bring to the organization. And why this is important, why that means that the other sort of checkoff list trainings and other stuff is not working, is because in order to have this as a reality, if you say that this is our vision and this is wants to be our reality, that means that you have to strengthen the foundation of your organization. What I tell people all the time when they ask me to come in and do, you know, EDI, DEI work, I was like, what is the foundation? What is your, how are people feeling when they're at work? If you don't really know how people are feeling at work and how people feel valued or not valued or appreciated or not appreciated at work sets the tone for any EDI. You can't you know, have a house that's dirty and, and falling apart and then put a Band-Aid on it and expect something, a miracle to happen. The foundation has to be strong in order for all the other activities to work. 